The basic setup of the DJI RS3 Pro is good, but it could be better. Now, rigging out your gimbal doesn't have to be this overly complicated thing with lots of fancy parts. It just has to be functional and works with whatever style and type of video that you're shooting. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my DJI RS3 Pro rig for shooting weddings and commercial type of social media content. And I'm gonna build it up from scratch and everything that I talk about will be linked down below in the description. And we're first gonna start off with the sling handle. Now, the purpose of the sling handle is to help you get lower angle shots without having to physically bend over so low. I use this feature all the time to get my camera closer to the ground so that I can create more depth in my image. Now, SmallRig has two versions of the sling handle. The first one is a very basic version that is very similar to this DJI uh, sling handle that comes with the RS3 Pro. It has that NATO clamp to attach to the gimbal. It has a couple mounting points, the rotating handle, and some other mounting points on top of the handle itself. But SmallRig made another souped up more pro version of that handle that includes all all those other features, but it has another NATO expansion port so that you can keep adding on accessories if you wanted to. You also get a lot more quarter inch and three eighths mounting points with locking pins all on the arm and also the sling handle itself and also on the top. And there's an extra cold shoe mount on the arm. And so let's start mounting it onto the gimbal itself. And this one just goes right on the right side and you just lock into the place. Now, once we have the arm on, you can see that it curves along the top side of the gimbal so that you can still have access to the side buttons such as the power button and also the toggle for the different modes. Now, additionally, this handle can actually come right off if I just unlock it and then unlock that, slide it off. And because there are mounting points on top of the handle, you can actually attach a monitor and also a follow focus wheel so that it can become a wireless first AC setup for someone who is helping you pulling focus. Now the handle itself is designed super well. It's got that silicone padding in the front, but in the back is this smooth plastic kind of feel that has a very nice texture and nice grip to it. But its hidden trick is that it's actually magnetized to the handle itself and you can actually pull off this dummy plate. And as you can tell, it was easy to pull off. It's on really secure and it's not going to slip out at any time soon unless you actually try to pull it off. Now, the reason why this little dummy plate is removable is because DJI and SmallRig have actually worked together to create a wireless controller. And this wireless controller actually magnetizes right onto the back of the handle. And from this controller, you're able to control the gimbal and its movements. The wireless controller has all the basic features that you wanna see in it such as the start stop recording, a mode button, a joystick, a centering button for the gimbal, and also a small little LED to tell you what mode you're shooting in. And on the side right here is the USB-C charging port. Now, both the wireless controller and the dummy plate are reversible. You can mount them upside down or right side up. And this is really useful because if you are, for example, mounting it onto the dual hand grip system that SmallRig also makes, you would mount the handle upside down like this and you would just flip the controller around and you are ready to start shooting. Now the wireless controller is able to talk to the gimbal through this little wireless receiver right here that has its own connection pins for the gimbal. And all you need to do is slide the receiver right onto the side of the gimbal. And once it's attached to the gimbal, it can talk to it and also receive power from it. And the controller and the receiver talk to each other via this wireless system that they have working right out of the box, so there's no setup needed. And the receiver conveniently also has another NATO expansion port so that you can keep adding on accessories. All right, so the next two things that I'm attaching are these two SmallRig mini NATO side handles. There's silicone padding on the front and the back of the handle, but there's no like designated front or back of the handle. The handle can be used from either side and you can control how far up or down the handle sits by adjusting it with these hex nuts. And of course there is a Allen key magnetized to the bottom of the handle, classic small rig. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these two handles. This is the first one right here. Second one goes right here, other side, and we're gonna tighten it down. And I like this setup better. I like it closer towards the gimbal instead of having that ring or the dual grip handle that's like kind of like far out like this and you have to hold it like that. Um, I just like it better. It just feels more comfortable for me to operate when the handles are a little bit closer to the gimbal, but not exactly like the gimbal itself like this. And overall for me, the ergonomics of these two handles right here in this position feels a lot better. And because these two handles are closer to the gimbal itself, I can easily just reach over with my thumb and hit that record 
or button so that I don't have to like kind of readjust my grip every single time. Now, most of the time when I'm shooting on my Canon C70, I do use photography lenses, which means that they have autofocus, but there are situations where I will be shooting on manual lenses, such as this Sure Venus 35 anamorphic lens. And this doesn't have autofocus, which means that I will be using the Smallrick Magic Fizz wireless follow focus system. It comes with the follow focus motor and also a hand grip. Now in those situations where I wanna use manual lenses, but also have it on a gimbal and use the follow focus system, I will replace one of my side handles for the hand grip so that I can actually pull focus using this little dial on the front. I'll be making a review on the Small Rake Magic Fizz follow focus system, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for when that video drops. Now the next accessory is the Small Rake DJI RS3 Pro base plate. This base plate for me is a must have, and I talked about it in my balancing video for the RS3 Pro, so go check out the video if you haven't. But basically, it gives you a lot more wiggle room when you're balancing your camera onto the gimbal itself. It's also got two screws instead of one so that my camera is secured onto the base plate and it doesn't start slipping or sliding when I'm shooting. Now the last accessory that I use is this little hockey puck type of thing right here. This is from Ziyun. This is the trans mount quick release adapter. On the top here, it has a quarter inch screw for you to attach to your gimbal. And on the bottom is a quarter inch mounting point for you to attach to your monopod. You can also attach it to a tripod if you wanted to, but for me, I like to attach it to my monopod and I'll show you in one second. And once you have everything attached, all you need to do is simply push down on the sides of this hockey puck thing and it will release the gimbal right off of your monopod. So this way you can just shoot, get all your gimbal shots, and when you're tired or you need to do a locked off shot, you simply line it back up onto the hockey puck, push down on the sides, and just slide it and lock it right into place. And now, this gimbal is not going anywhere. And that's it. That is my gimbal rig. It's super simple. It probably has less than 10 parts to it. So let me know if you have any other questions down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.